Your Excellency, Mr. President, Comrade Vladimir Putin, Your Excellency, Chairman of the African Union, heads of the delegations, thank you. Hello. It gives me great honor to address you here this morning and to convey to you the fraternal greeting of my people. At the outset, I would like to thank the Almighty who allowed us to gather here today and to talk about the prosperity and the future of our peoples. I'm sorry for maybe offending you somehow. My generation asks a lot of questions but does not get any answers. Here we feel at home. Russia is also a family to Africa because we share history. Russia has sacrificed a lot to liberate Europe and the world from fascism during World War II. We have shared history. We can say that we are forgotten peoples of the world, be it movies, books, in many ways the role of Russia and Africa in the fight against Nazism has been forgotten, but today we stand together and today we're here to talk about the future of our countries and what will happen tomorrow in this new free world to which we aspire for, where there will be no meddling in our domestic affairs. We have shared prospects and I hope that this summit will provide an opportunity to establish just peace and just world order and relations between our peoples. It's not quite clear to me how come that Africa that has so many resources, water, solar energy, how come that currently it is the poorest continent in the world with the highest levels of famine, how come that we have to ask for help. We ask ourselves, but we don't get any answers. We have a chance to build new relationship. Hopefully, this relationship will be for the better to us in order to build a better future for our country. On behalf of my generation, I would like to say that due to poverty, many had to cross oceans in quest for a better life. At times they die, at times they starve, it's hard for them to survive. As for Burkina Faso, it's been eight years since we have been facing the most barbaric and violent form of uh, colonialism, barbarism. We are imposed this modern form of slavery. We were taught one thing. A slave that cannot rebel does not deserve pity. And we decided to fight, to fight against terrorists that impede our development and our struggle. Our peoples decided to take up arms in order to fight terrorism. We are surprised that imperialists, they are called uh, militarized units, militarized groups. In Europe, people take arms in order to defend their motherland. They are called that they are said they say that they are not patriots, but when my grandfather had to take up arms, it was against his will. When people decide to take up arms, 
There's another problem. The problem is that the heads of African states do not give anything to these people who fight against imperialism. They're calling us armed units, bandits. We do not agree with such an approach. Leaders of African states should not be puppets when imperialists treat them like that. I would like to convey a message to the heads of African states. We need to ensure self-sufficiency of our peoples, of our countries. We need to ensure food self-sufficiency and we need to meet all the needs of our peoples. Since there's not much time left for my intervention, let me pay tribute to our peoples that fight against all the evil, glory to our people, respect to our people, and victory to our people. Thank you, comrades.